Leave it. Today we are going to be doing Gatsby's personality and IQ test. We're going to be testing Gatsby on five different aspects. Empathy, communication, cunning, memory, and reasoning. Along with that, I will also be playing for you guys the footage we took at NorCal CorgiCon with hundreds of corgis on the beach. And we'll also be going to San Francisco to prepare for the calendars with my friend Vince. So, let's get the vlog started. I contacted the company Dognition, who is the leader in dog cognitive theory. They agreed to allow me to film and do the assessment for you guys in the vlog. Yeah? Are you ready? First up, we're going to do Gatsby's empathy yawn test. <sighs> Yawning in dogs can be an indicator of stress, <sighs> but we were measuring something different, social yawning. Gatsby did not yawn in response to your yawn, but this is not surprising. Although dogs are one of the few species behind humans that contagiously yawn, data from several research groups shows differing results, but our preliminary data shows that only 20% of dogs yawn contagiously. Did Gatsby yawn? No. This warm-up will set the stage for eye contact games. I'm gonna wait until he breaks. Let's see what he does. Gatsby! Before babies can hug or speak, they use eye gaze to bond to their mothers. Owners whose dogs stared at them for longer had significant increase in hormone oxytocin. It is related to feelings of bonding, pleasure, and affection. Judging by the extraordinary length of time Gatsby spent gazing soulfully into your eyes, you probably often find him staring at you for no reason. He may just be hugging you with his eyes. And now we can see what Gatsby's results are over here. Between individualistic and bonded, Gatsby is definitely all the way at the end. He is incredibly bonded to me. This is even more special because initial results suggest that small dogs like Gatsby tend to be more individualistic than large dogs. By being more on the bonded end of the scale, Gatsby certainly stands out from the small dog crowd. For this next test, we're gonna check out Gatsby's communication skills and see whether he is more communicative or self-reliant. For this one, I'm gonna put two treats on the ground this time and point at one of them and see whether Gatsby chooses the one I point at or the one on the opposite side. Dogs are one of the only animals that rely on human gestures, but even among dogs, there is variation. Some dogs are more like infants and rely heavily on our communicative gestures while other dogs are more like chimpanzees and try to solve problems on their own without our help. Gatsby probably does not see you point with your foot very often, so this game was a way of seeing how flexibly Gatsby can read your gestures. Congratulations to Gatsby for completing his communication results. Only a little bit collaborative, he's about average for collaboration over here in the chart. Well, those are two out of the five assessments we have. We're going to be doing more throughout the rest of the vlog, but First, we are going to drive up to San Francisco to meet up with Vince to help us do the calendars. And while we go there, I will play for you the footage we took two days ago at CorgiCon. Enjoy that and we'll see you guys in San Francisco. Justice League. 
never watched a YouTube video yeah. until I caught yours. And I watched 45 minutes of Gatsby growing oh, up. Oh, nice. You watched the video that you brought him home from the airport 10,000 yeah, yeah. times a day. Thanks so much, Alex. All the way up. <laughs> Everyone's working at Gatsby's head. <laughs> They're like, oh no, what is that? What is that? I'm in it too. <laughs> hey. Look at that shirt. Check out the shirt. Nice. Woo. Check it out. Check it out. Look at that shirt. Excuse me, sir. Can I just get a picture of the shirt? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Mason. Mason. I wonder where Gatsby is. Vince is here. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> again, he does it again. Every time. <laughs> scared of gets me. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> I'm at Corey Gun here with Gatsby. Wait, that's not Gatsby. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Thank you guys for coming out for today's Corgi Con. Sean's a trooper carrying the sign. <laughs> Six hours. In and out. Yeah, boys. We're headed back home now. Okay, we finished for Con. This time was more relaxed. Yeah, I think it's because we had the Gatsby head. Everyone could find us. Vince was like, I could see you from the parking lot with that thing. Gatsby is done for the day. What are you doing, Gatsby? What are you doing? <laughs> okay, we just made it. There's Vince! Hey, Woo! What's hey, what's up? And Gatsby! And there's Vinny here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're gonna do your personality test, Gatsby. <laughs> In the first of the coming games, we'll establish a baseline of how Gatsby chooses to respond to your commands when he knows you can see him. Leave it. You place a tree in front of Gatsby and let him know not to take the tree. You then show Gatsby three attentional states, watching, turning your back, and covering your eyes. <laughs> Gatsby must show that he can tell when you are looking and use the information when deciding when to go for the tree. In this case, Gatsby's decision did not change no matter which intentional state you presented. Leave it. Gatsby, leave it. So Gatsby is very wily. We already knew that. He stole that sandwich from that homeless guy. He took it. Gatsby is more on the wily side than the trustworthy side. <laughs> the shipping envelopes came in the mail today. 
you check that out. 10 boxes full of really heavy, thick envelopes. <laughs> I'm storing everything at my friend's place. They're gonna be helping me ship them out, so. Yeah. I did a lot of research trying to figure out what kind of envelopes to use to ship with, but in the end we decided to go with something called a rigid photo mailer. They're very thick cardboard. They're usually used to ship photographs, and that's what we we're gonna use to ship the calendars so that they come nice and in perfect quality to you guys. Right now Ryan is setting up his shipping printer, and we are trying to figure out how to set up his uh, okay. So you got your Shipping brand. account. Pull this out. Open it. You Slide got the out. way that the arrow points. Right, yeah, right. exactly. It senses the edge and uh -huh. it'll go, and if you hit that button, it'll shoot out one. So it hits the zero. It, it senses the edge, and then uh. you just rip it off. So you just, see? Now I'm gonna take Gatsby upstairs to play with Tofu. Gatsby, come here! You ready to go? Good girl. Good boy. Okay. These games examine how heavily Gatsby relies on his working memory. Working memory is the kind of memory that allows your dog to keep information in mind for a few minutes and mentally manipulate it to solve problems. Okay. Oh, yay! <laughs> Put the treat under the right cup and point at the left one. In the memory games, Gatsby had to understand that even though the treat disappeared from view, it still exists, and it is his job to find it. It looks like Gatsby has a good working memory, but also uses other information such as smell or social gestures when right making there. decisions and solving problems. Okay! Uh, yeah! Gatsby is more retrospective than present-minded. I think we're ready to ship out some calendars soon. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I'm gonna head out. See you guys back home. Setting up the calendars is a lot of work. I mean, I didn't think it would be that hard, but it was a lot to figure out. As a special treat, I thought that I would reveal to you one picture. Here it is. Oh, look at that. We ran out of almost all the calendar previews from Corgi Khan. I printed out enough for both Corgi Khan and Corgi Beach Day. Turns out it was almost not even enough for Corgi Khan. Let's get on with the vlog. Gonna grab some dinner probably at Chipotle. I'm trying not to stock my fridge or anything because we're headed out to LA. Ah. Chips, napkins. Chicken bowl, extra guac. Ta-da! Mm, real food. Okay, we got Sean here. Hey. Woo, he's gonna help us do the final dimension. Reasoning, are you ready? Here is the treat, Gatsby, you see it? Hide it behind the cat, place it, tend to place it in cup number one. Reasoning is the ability to solve a puzzle when you can't see the answer and have the image to solve. Gatsby scored more towards the impulsive end, which means he doesn't get caught up in the details, especially details that aren't right in front of him. Okay. Oh, good job. You got it. The difference is that we're only going to show Gatsby the empty cup, and he has to infer that the other one has a treat in it. We'll see how well he does with this one. This cup is empty, which means the treat is in... Okay, Gatsby. Look that cup! <laughs> that one doesn't have anything in it. This is supposed to test Gatsby's understanding of physics. When the paper is flat, that means there's nothing in it. But when I take a treat, the paper stands up. Okay. You got it! Stay. Swim, 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 swim. Okay. Oh, he got the right one this time. Your understanding of physics is so good. From Gatsby's performance in the communication dimension, he relies on you for help when making decisions. He obviously sees you as his best bet when solving a problem. Dang nice. Man. You're his best friend. Congratulations, Gatsby finished the assessment. Gatsby is a socialite, friend to all, and between logical and impulsive, he scores about 
average. You completed the test, Gatsby. Congratulations! You did it! We're catching Pokemons again with Gatsby. Gatsby's helping us catch. I just caught a rat tata. Yeah, Gatsby, thank you. Everything is double the points right now for Halloween. Oh, he got his ice cream. I didn't get any this time. I have Gatsby. You're my sweetness, Gatsby. There he is. Another one, another drowsy. There's drowsies everywhere for Halloween. Another one. Another one! 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 DJ Khaled! I hope you had a good day. Mm. I'm so glad to have such great friends to help me out for CorgiCon. Sean and my friend Mark were like working, seriously working super hard. Can't do it without my friends. So much work for this awesome calendar. It's been a really, really tough past few weeks for me. I'm so tired. But of course we are on the home stretch. I'm so excited for you guys to see the calendar. We're gonna get ready to go to bed. Tomorrow I'm gonna be editing this vlog that you saw right now. Hopefully it's up and then I'm going to be headed down the next day, driving all day to get to SoCal in order to go to Corgi Beach Day, which is the next day. And then I'm going to be driving back the next day after that um, and get ready to launch the calendars. Thank you so much to everyone who stopped by at CorgiCon to say hi. It's really nice meeting all of you. If you are going to Corgi Beach Day, make sure to say hi. Wear your Corgi on fleek t-shirts over here. And otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Uh, good night. Today we'll be ranking every single item on Panda Express's menu. Panda. 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 Panda, 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 